Okay, so so far I've literally just loaded up Alien Colonial Marines and this game has been uh, somewhat anticipated. I've literally just gotten out of the airlock um, and we're just going to be kind of giving this one a shot and see what it's like. Oh dear. Winner, what the hell just happened in there? Raider 65, are you in the air yet? Explosive decompression in the Sulaco. So this game has been uh, somewhat criticised by some already in reviews. One of the primary reasons is they're criticising the single player of the game. So we'll see what. Well, I'd like to, but so far graphically, I'm not exactly amazed. It's a little bit early, however, obviously. No, nope, can't do anything with him. I assume we're just going to watch. Press Q to bring up your motion tracker. Got you two here, and I'm reading two three to the south, beyond the hangar, engineering perhaps. Are you moving? No. Wait. I got an unidentified signal. Something's moving. Hmm. Unidentified movement in their area. It could be under attack. Yeah, so let's open this door, right? That seems logical. Now, it was Alien vs Predator has been a very good game. So Alien Clone and Marines was one of those titles I was really looking forward to. Um what I said about heroics, kid. Sir, there's uh half an unidentified synthetic splattered across the deck here. Which half? Well, he ain't saying much. Then find me a half that does. Actual out. I feel the motion tracker could be the way to go here. I must say, I'm not exactly amazed by the graphical um, textures and various other... Lighting looks reasonable, but textures, particularly on certain surfaces, look a little bit lower resolution than I'd like. Um, bear in mind this is everything I'm maxed out in the game. It's not to say that it looks terrible, it just I kind of expected a bit more. My understanding is this game's running in a DX9 mode. You turn off flashlight, press X to toggle your flashlight on and off, okay? Seems reasonable. For the most part though, oh dear. See, one of the fair things about um, Alien vs. Predator is, or Alien type of games, is obviously the atmosphere is extremely important. And it's very, very easy to actually ruin that, coming to think of it. Okay, for all I know, motion is being created by that. However, that's just generally speaking primary territory for the aliens to say, hello bro. So if we take a quick look round, because I just want to be a bit anal about this to begin with. I'm not exactly like ejected cryo tubes and hell of a way to wake up. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Alright. So quite a lot of detail on the areas, if nothing else. Oh, this doesn't look good. If the door is flashing red light, it can be opened or well cut open or welded shut. Press E to use your welder. I quite like that touch, actually. I'll, I will be honest. I quite like that. I quite like that touch, I must say. Ugh. Sticky, viscous fluid. Interesting. 
I've been to parties that look like this. Are you seeing this, Captain? Hmm. The organic matter actually looks pretty good, to be honest. Bear in mind, the last Alien vs. Predator actually didn't score that well in magazines. This seems to be one of those franchises that... Oh dear. It's something's getting closer. Question is, am I hunting them or are they hunting me? I'm probably going to guess it's them hunting me. Can I do anything with it? No. Where am I? Winner. Hi, bro. Cut me the hell out of here. Careful, bro. Oh, hi. Shoot that thing. Ow. The only problem with hammering E on a keyboard is it doesn't work well. I wish developers would stop doing that. Yes, it's great for console owners, and I'm really happy for them. However... Alright. Go kill it. Seems reasonable request, considering I can obviously see it quite easily in this amount of sludge, right? Well, it's not through here. I'll just test out that. Okay, so it shoots. That's good. At least I know what the fire key is. Okay, that's not going to happen. So where the hell is it? That's the question. So around there somewhere. little bastard, isn't he? Oh, son of a bitch! Quite literally as well. Yeah, you're not coming back, are you? Alright. And where the hell was that little son of a... There he is. Can I pick that up? There we go. Yeah, don't worry about his arms or anything. This is Winter. I've located keys from Rhino 23. There's some bodies down here, but some are missing. There are one or two Marines missing from Rhino 23. Stop whining, you're not. He's gone. Sit tight. I got you, buddy. Winner, regroup what's left. Get him back to the hangar and the rest of 2 1. Do not engage. Where the hell did he pull out that weapon? Our mission was to recover the flight data from the Salasa. I gave you that mission and it's over. Now regroup and come. You have to know what caused this. The flight recorder can get us that. With all due respect, sir. So my respect. squad means you shut your goddamn mouth and follow your orders. Actual out. Hell with the orders. The flight wreck isn't too far from here. We grab it, link up with Rhino 2 1. Oh, good. O'Neill, you still there? Damn. Guys on the way back. Not exactly. I'm following a prat. So far, I'm actually quite liking the overall graphical stylings of the game. I wish there was a bit more texture detail. That's obviously a console lightest issue. Okay, your pulse rifle is under barrel weapon. Press F to fire that weapon. You don't have to tell me twice. Oh! This pulse rifle feels quite nice. I have to say, 
Now, I did hear some criticism on regards to the console version that you might... That the aiming felt a bit off. And I don't know if that's primarily the console issue. For me... Oh, hey, da, 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 da. Not quite sure it was tight. Um, that was a little bit off. There's no way the flight wreck didn't tape the assholes that did it to the Salako. If we make it back with this thing, who knows what we'll find on it? Hugs and kisses? Ew. What are you using? A pea shooter. You're obviously getting your ammo from Dante store. I have a slight issue with the way the bullets feel, or should I say the impact sound and look when they contact the target. They're not quite as meaty as I'd like. But it doesn't feel, uh, in terms of control, uh, bad. It feels quite accurate. The gun points and the gun shoots. So, yeah, if I'm aiming at you, it's probably... There we go. Let's try a different gun out, shall we? Yeah. I do like shotguns in games, I will confess. Oh, okay. Okay. The enemy kind of dies a little bit oddly on occasion. I'm not sure if that's just my interpretation. I actually think that... I'm just going to grab that. I hope you guys... It feels a little bit... Animation feels a bit... I don't want to use the word, but I'll go for it anyway. Screw wonky. It doesn't feel quite smooth. Well, be smart there, bro. I will say at least my teammates, maybe not the most smart of in individuals in terms of their actions in game story-wise, but at least they're shooting things, so that's nice. Ah, quit it. Ah, quit it. You know what? Screw that. Why are you going after me? I'm sorry, I didn't realize the other people weren't shooting you. That's better. Go after my hapless co workers. That's much more. Yeah, I prefer to be in the back shooting things. That's what I signed up for in the core, baby. I'll just be going under that. Screw my co workers. They're hapless AI, they, they don't mind. Two one, pack it up and let's move. Flat wreck is en route to the Sephora. You see what I'm saying about the whole resolution thing? Okay. Ow! I, I, I honestly, I'm wondering if my teammates are partially retarded. I, I, I'm not really sure what their thought of grenade, throwing a grenade in this hall was about. Um. I'm actually sure if this is interactive or not, but I'm going to hold forward and just go from there.
I've played enough video games to know that if you're not sure if it's interactive, just pretend it is interactive. Keys. Keys had the recorder on him. That was all for nothing. Well, we're not dead. So, you know, there's that. Hmm. Okay. So... This is Sephora Actual. 2-1, can you read me? What just happened in the umbilical? Yeah, a little bit of kind of clumsy smoke there. Once again, though, this is all nitpicking. Yes, sir. Any thoughts on the exploded chest issue? All of our Cheyenne class birds en route to provide Kazavak and ground support. That's almost 80 Marines en route, and we got to get them somewhere to land. The hangar's out of commission, but we got room in the cargo base. Understood. We are heading to the cargo bay. So I, I actually quite like the whole life regeneration idea. In other words, it works on divisions of sections. So for the most part, as long as you're fairly smart, you can keep having a health regenerate. But there are limits, so you can't just keep soaking up damage. Alar, say Master Chief can in single player co-op. That's not a pop at Halo, it's just how the game works. And I actually quite like the idea behind it in Halo. It, it works for that particular game. However, I don't like how other games have adopted it, and we haven't kind of questioned it. But it works quite well in Alien Colonial Marines with this particular system, I feel. Um, I feel it won't be overly it's punishing, bad, although I'm fairly one. early at the moment. There's no way this is Colonial Marines. Okay, so we can actually see now that my life is full. And we've got some armor as well. Um, oh, shit. Why? Everything is time stamped after we've received the distress signal from. Uh, uh, what's his name? Corporal Hicks. Actual, this is 2 1. What do you make of this? Might as well reload. Sir, is there someone else on this ship? I have Bishop sending a signal to weigh you. We ain't got time to sit around and play Sherlock. Get back to the cargo bay. Interestingly, if you're using a mouse wheel, it actually does not so go to the pistol. You have to actually press that. I think that gives you an indication of just how effective it's going to be if you shoot someone with it. What's your status? I woke up gagging on a creature like a spider. It wrapped around my face. It's dead, sir. I got separated from my squad. She screwed. Orders from the rest of my guys. Rest of 2-3 is presumed dead. I'm sorry, kid. Remnants of Rondo 2-1 are on their really? way to the cargo bay. Can you get to the cargo bay, 2-3? Garnett? Keys? I can't even think right now, Actual. I'm not sure how to get there, sir. You're the last of Rhino 2-3. Do your best. Get back here alive. Actual out. I'm gonna close up behind me. I don't really know if it's gonna make any difference at all, but hey. Neil, what's wrong? It sounded like Bella. She... We had a thing, okay? What kind of thing? A sex thing. Pick it up, Boy Scout. Thanks. Hmm. It's kind of weird that on those cutscenes you can't shoot, you can't. Even the get out your motion tracker, I s I'm not particularly adverse to that in games. Press V to perform a melee attack. Yeah. My frost, my frosting manliness will evidently stop her face hugger, right? Oh, yeah. It was super effective. We need to reach the top of the gravity well. That'll put us right next to the cargo bay. I actually quite like aim mode on this. It works surprisingly well. I have a feeling it could get you ravaged though, and not in a good way. Caution! Stand away from the edge of platform. I will. F yeah, we got a badass over here. I want to be able to perform the slide move. Why can't I perform the running slide? God, I hate that in games. Ow! I don't need a motion tracker to tell me where the hell that one was. Okay. Oh. I just saw this thing move. <laughs> oh, I kept shooting that. Ah, health. Eh. Up, baby. 
Alright, let's, let's illuminate things. Let's be more illuminating in this area. The alien models themselves do move fairly well. As I said, I'm not particularly amazed with the way you shoot them. On occasion, that feels a bit clumsy and sluggish. I just want to check down here. Uh, I'd like to see if the game encourages... Exp no. Yeah, see, some so far, the path is fairly linear. But... Ow! That acid is seriously irritating. I'm unsure if my co-workers can die. So far, this is on the second difficulty. So, at the moment, I'm not really finding it a super challenge. Now, one of the issues I'm having with this title straight away is that I don't actually feel a sense of anticipation. I don't feel like, oh shit, I don't want to go to the next area. If anything, I just feel like, okay, this is fine. And it feels very much like a first-person shooter. Uh, and I know that might be a bit of a stupid statement, but if you guys check out my Alien vs Predator, I've got a couple of videos on it um, on the channel, and by no means is it the best game I've ever played or anything like that. But what you'll notice is that it does have a sense of tense atmosphere, right from the start actually. And while I'm not going to tell you that this game is superior, it is inferior in the sense of the atmosphere. Okay, you are... Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I've died. Okay, well, I... That, that, that escalated fairly quickly. Hello? There we go. Okay, actually, I'm not too far back. I really hate that, actually, at the start, where you're just frozen just for that second. It's somewhat jarring. You wanna stop moving, bro, or are you just gonna... Look up, look up! Look up, and there's nothing there. That's always helpful. So it's good to know actually how the game deals with deaths. So far the checkpoint system isn't that brutal, quite honestly. Really? You don't say? Ow! I'll just grab that, I hope you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? So, so far, the difficulty level isn't bad. I feel that you take a lot of damage, but that's cool and understandable because while well, you are fighting things that have teeth bigger than, say, a man's fist, but... Um, hello, you can feel free to shoot them at any point. I don't want to, you know, worry you about your day job or anything. Dude, friendly fire isn't on. Feel free to shoot something. I promise I won't get upset for taking some of my kills. I'm not that guy. It 
looks more like a bloody ninja than a... Seriously, if you would like to shoot something, teammate... Well, that would just be swell. Hello? No, I think you're going the wrong way, bro. Okay, so, so far there's a bit of an issue with the AI. It's not terrible, but sometimes he seems to have a little brain farts, bless him. I'm stop screaming, it's only a little bit of acid. I eat that for lunch. In Soviet Russia, acid is your breakfast. Quit your bitching, in other words. Ah. There we go. Another slight point of contention I have. He seems to just disappear off at some points, which is somewhat irritating, actually. Seriously, with the glitch? What the hell? Why can't you cover me while I get it open, huh? Don't take, you know, too long, bro. I mean, it's not like I'm running on limited amounts of ammunition or anything like that. That didn't sound good. You act like a good little soldier and wait for me to go through. I like it. Hmm. That's very nice. Lock -a -waxwell. We have arrived in the first cargo bay. Go to the control room to purge the control room. We can pop the doors and blow this shit out into the black. You gotta run this stuff by me before you're speaking crazy. Look up, look up. Oh, how considerable. I actually have a few bullets now. Oh, goody. Oh, at least it didn't take five minutes. Okay, groovy. You wanna tell me how you purge this, or are you just gonna kind of... No? So... I'm gonna have to figure this out? It's not like there's many controls here or anything, so that shouldn't take me too long, right. Okie dokie. Ah, good old helpful masses of wires so you can't walk past them. I always help, that's always pleasing in games. Is that it? Ah, oh, there we go. I did click, thought I clicked on that earlier, but apparently not. So hurry up! Oh shit, in my breakfast. Everybody hang on to something! Be advised, Actual, that Winter made me scratch my favorite ship, sir. It's your only ship, Reed. Well, there you go, then it'll definitely be our favorite, won't it? In minutes, this ship will be flooded with Marines. So let's go find Bella. Rank up. Splendid. <laughs> 